What is up, Coratics? Welcome back to the series where I customize and review past DLC and OG vehicles if I got the chance to because I didn't start making car customization videos till about late 2015. As always, guys, let me know in the comments what car from late 2015 and old do you want to see me customize next, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next customization video. So, in today's video, we're going to be customizing the Declasse Lifeguard Granger, which for some reason is just called Lifeguard in GTA Online, but I always like to refer to it as the Lifeguard Granger so others don't confuse it with the Lifeguard Blazer. But anyways, this SUV is an OG vehicle that's been in the game since day one, however you weren't able to legitimately store it in online until the Casino Heist DLC which released in 2019. And with that DLC, you were able to purchase it from the Warstock website for a ridiculous $865,000 which is insane for an OG vehicle. Now there is a way to get it cheaper from free mode for a lot less money. However, you will need a friend that already owns a lifeguard granger in order for it to spawn. So once you have that lifeguard granger, whether it's your friends or one that you acquired some way, you're then going to make your way to the beach by the lifeguard station and two of them will spawn there. One with a bull bar and one without. So you can take your pick as to which one you want. Now you can store it in your garage for free, however if you want to put insurance on it that will cost you about $108,000 which yes is a lot of money but that's a lot less than the $865,000 that Rockstar wants you to pay. Now to mention the lifeguard used to not be customizable, however with the introduction of the Criminal Enterprises DLC you can now customize it and some other vehicles like the Mariachi Tornado that were previously not customizable. However, you must own an MOC or Avenger in order to customize these specialty vehicles. Now in terms of the other emergency Granger variants, we also have the Park Ranger, the FIB, and of course the Sheriff. But these are not normally storable or customizable, the only one that currently is, is the Lifeguard. Now in terms of performance, the lifeguard is in the emergency class and is not usable in races, but it's pretty much identical in terms of performance to the normal Granger when fully upgraded, which performs like a traditional street SUV. But anyways, in terms of what the lifeguard Granger is based on, the Granger itself is based on the 10th generation Chevy Suburban and the headlights are inspired by the third generation GMC Sierra. And in terms of the lifeguard design on it, that's inspired by the lifeguard SUVs in California. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out the customization of the lifeguard. Alright, so again, for the customization, it has to be done at an Avenger or MOC that you own. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's take it outside. Call out my Avenger here. Now, uh, I would use the MOC, but I do have that as a uh, storage bay, so that's why I use my Avenger. All right, here we are. Bring it right in. This this thing is it's a very large vehicle. I don't know how this is gonna go in here, but let's see. Wow, that is that barely 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 makes it in here <laughs> all right so you can see we got all the options which is fantastic like a normal kind of street car um, whereas in any other custom shop in the entire game um, it will be only this right here last step prevention that's the only thing you'll have so all right armor brakes engine um, horn, we'll leave that, uh, lights, you know what, we'll do xenons, right, give it a, kind of like a custom look, since you normally aren't able to, I mean, now you're able to do it because it was part of a DLC, but mo most people that drive this around, they probably have it with the stock lights, so, do that, give it a nice custom look, uh, we can change the plate too, nice, even though I can barely see it, oh, there we go, <laughs> um, hmm, what plate should I put on this, I don't even know, I guess put my America plate on there, Respray. So, one thing that you can't do, let me go back here. So, you cannot change the color of this um, or put a crew emblem, apparently. So, <laughs> yeah. 
yeah, you can't, you can't, you can't do anything on here. So no color, no core emblem. So that's force. I mean, I don't think you should be able to change this anyways. But I think in black, this thing would have looked sick, or maybe white or something like that. But um, I guess that yellow is force. Suspension, you can lower it if you want. I don't see the point in that personally. It's supposed to be a vehicle used for like off-road emergency situations on the beach. So not gonna do that. Transmission, turbo, wheels. And on that topic of off-road emergency situations on the beach, the sand, we are gonna throw off-roads on here so you can in fact change the wheels. Um, you go down here to these right here, the Concave Rally Masters. I think those look fantastic. Yeah, we'll definitely do those. Yeah, and we'll paint them black. So very, very cool there. And now the stock wheels on this thing, I forgot to show it. Um, I think it's removed now since we changed the color, but um, when you buy it stock or you find it stock, it does have like a little bit of a yellow tint on the stock wheels, which that's pretty cool, honestly. But so now we got the black off roads so I think they look fantastic. Um, continuing to windows. Oh, we can black them out, but does it tint all the windows? Go first person here. Okay, it does. The, the lighting in here is just absolutely terrible. Okay, we'll black them out. Just and that's all the options there. Alright, not bad. So basically, you know, a faster lifeguard, uh, Granger, and some different wheels, some armor. Pretty cool. Alright, let's exit the Avenger. Okay, we spawn on the highway. <laughs> okay. Just threw us there on the highway. Wow, a lot faster now. What a difference. That's the way it should drive. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is cool now. I like this a lot. And, of course, you do have the sirens, the lights and all that. Very, very cool. These flashback here. And all the traffic moves out of your way like a traditional uh, cop car. Very cool. And, of course, you can toggle it. And you get the normal horn, which you can change if you want, or the sirens. So, I mean, you kind of own your own cop car in a way, even though it's not technically a cop car, but it has the function of moving, of, you know, AIs moving themselves out of the way for you, which is kind of cool. So, I mean, I think this is a nice novelty, something cool to own, maybe for role playing or something like that. Um, and you can, you know, get out of your garage on demand, whatever you want. A driving feel is exactly like the normal Granger, right? I'm pretty sure they're identical in terms of the performance and all that. However, like I mentioned earlier, this is in the emergencies class, so can't be used for racing because we don't have an emergency class option for racing. But all right, let's go ahead and open all the stuff here. Vehicle doors, let's go all. Alright, engine bay there, same as the regular Granger. And something I want to mention here that I find super, super cool and awesome little Easter egg. So, this vehicle apparently is wrapped. And usually, when you wrap a car, what happens? You don't wrap the door jams, you don't wrap the inside of the hood, obviously, or the engine bay. So, <laughs> what Rockstar did here, I mean, that's so realistic because that's what they actually do with these, they, they wrap them most of the time. Uh, that's that's so cool. You can see all the white trim there. So it's it's a base uh, The base vehicle the Granger is white, but then it has like a yellow wrap on it. That is so cool I absolutely love that hidden Easter egg and feature Just awesome. It really really is cool And all the props on top. I mean, it's just an awesome car to own Obviously, I, I would not pay 865 grand for it. I think that's absolutely nuts. That's stupidity. So if you have a friend that owns one, uh, I would definitely ask around, or you can use the comment section of this uh, customization video to help you find somebody that can get you one so you can get it for that 110,000 after you put the insurance on it um, instead of paying 865 grand. You know, 865 plus all the upgrades, you're approaching a million dollars. That's that's stupid. I would not pay that for the million dollars for this thing. It's an OG story mode vehicle. It just makes no sense at all. So, yeah, definitely try to get it the other uh, method. Um, and if you're if you're cheap for now, maybe you're like, oh, I don't have a hundred k. Well, just throw it into your garage, and the tracker will be installed for free. And then when you have that hundred k, another time. 
then you can go ahead and throw the insurance on it. Just don't forget, obviously. <laughs> but yeah, you can store it for free and then worry about the $100,000 insurance later. So that's also an option. So technically, you still can own it for free, but if somebody blows it up, rest in peace. So what, <laughs> I would recommend that 100K. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Remember to let me know what vehicle from late 2015 and older you want to see me customize next. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.